Okay, this car is going around a, uh, over a humpback bridge um, at a speed of 12 meters per second. The radius of curvature of the bridge is 10 meters. So that means from the center of mass to um, the center of this circle is 12 meters. Okay, so there's two forces acting on this car. So we need to do, consider the circular motion equation for this car. One of the forces weight which is pulling it towards the center of the planet and, and towards the center of the circle. The second force is the normal reaction force from um, the from the floor. And let's call that R. Okay. Right. So we need to find the resultant force of these two forces. The resultant force because the downward one is bigger, we will do the big one minus the small one. And the, that will act as a resultant force towards the center of the circle. And we can make that equal MV squared over r okay um so the point where this is whether to determine if it's safe or not is when will he lose contact with the floor so he will lose contact with the floor when r becomes zero when this becomes zero that is when he will lose contact with the floor so let's see what happens when he loses contact with the floor and we make r equal to zero so this tells us what speed so if you rearrange this carefully, cancel the m from both sides, you get gr square root equals velocity. This tells us the maximum speed he can go at before he loses contact with the floor. If he goes any faster, he will lose contact with the floor. Okay, so let's figure that out. That's 9.81 times 10 square root, and that gives us 9.9 9 meters per second. He's currently moving at 12 meters per second, so this is not safe. So we need to keep a conclusion. Um, moving too fast, too fast, 9.9, um, sorry, 12 meters per second is bigger than 9.9, .9. so not safe. Okay, he'll actually move, lose contact, and what will happen is he's, he's, the car will move at a tangent to um, to his circular motion. He'll maintain that velocity he had just before he loses contact according to Newton's first law.